How's it going everyone? Tynok here and today we're going to build our last component, the player stat card for our Rocky Elite overlay. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to create our styled components for this component here. So I've gone ahead and created the four ones that we're going to need in here. We're going to have the stat card wrapper, the stat container, the stat name and the stat value. Two of these will be divs and two of these will be P's for paragraph text. That way we can display things accordingly. So the first thing that we're going to do here is inside of our stat card wrapper, we need to give this a distinct background color. That way we, that way you guys can see exactly where this is and what it's going to be surrounding. So for this, we can go ahead and just give it a background of green. That way it's super distinct. That way it doesn't fit with any of the teams. You'll be able to see exactly where it is. Then the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make sure we set the color here. This will be the font color. We're just gonna set this to black to make it super easy to read. Then we're going to set the height for this. We're gonna set this to 400 pixels and the width I'm gonna set this to 600 pixels. So again, you can create this however you want. This is just gonna be the styling that I'm gonna be using for the sake of this video. That way you can then see where you can change it and customize it to make it your own. Then the next thing is per when we display this, uh, this data, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we center our text and that our font family, we're gonna make it consistent with the rest of the overlay and have it be Arial. So otherwise then this looks good for this component. So now we can move on to our stat container. So the way we're gonna display these is we're gonna display it vertically. So what I mean by that is we're gonna have the stat name be on the top of the display and then underneath it will be the value. We're gonna display our goals, assists, shots, and saves, the four core stats with this uh, with Rocket League. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is inside of our stat container, is we're going to make sure want to make sure we have it be a display flex. Then we're gonna to want to have it be a flex flow row no wrap. So what this is gonna be is that way it's gonna line up all of these. Uh, it's gonna line up all of the stats in a row horizontally, and then inside here for our justify content, this is going to be center. Our align items, this will also be center. Our height is going to be, we'll say 200 pixels. And our width, well, this is also gonna be the same thing as our, our main wrapper, as this is gonna be a component within the wrapper, so it's gonna be 600 pixels as well. So yeah, we'll have this take up, take up about half of it. We can even increase this maybe to 250 or even higher if you so please, but here, this is a good start. So then here with our stat name then, there's only two things we really need to do with this before we can move on. We just need to make sure we set the font size, which is gonna, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller than the, uh, than the actual value. So here we can say the font size is going to be 20 pixels. And then we're gonna just wanna set the margin of zero. That way there's no unwanted spacing. And then here we do the font size, uh, we'll say let's go up to 32 pixels also with a margin of zero So these are all the styled components that we're gonna need and now we can start putting this together So I've gone ahead and I created a new file and just like what we did here with our player boost meter We're gonna have to follow a couple other things here to make sure that we are actually spectating a player that way If we're spectating a player, we know whose stats to display. So with this we can say const game info equals use context this will be react and then we want our game info context. If you don't remember, our game info is essentially is gonna be all of the game data that is currently stored in there. So if I hover over this, it should be that game context type we created earlier on. I encourage you to revisit previous videos in the series if you do not remember this, uh, if you need to see a quick little refresher. So then here we're going to need to say that the spectated, oops, spectated player is going to be equal to we have that game service that we had and we're going to use this just like we did we're going to say get player from target and then we can say game info dot players and then game info dot target and this will go ahead and give us if there's a spectator player and then now this is actually all we need to do before we can start rendering so we can now say return in parentheses and then we'll have an empty component out here and then we'll use conditional rendering so we just put our curly braces and we say spectated player 
that way since there's a chance that it's undefined we make sure it is defined and then we do and and then here is where we can start putting everything together so to start all i'm going to do is i'm going to move these over here so that way we can see exactly what we're supposed to display so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our stat card wrapper just like so and then here is where we can go ahead and just say um let's do p and then we want to know who are we spectating well we can just do spectated player dot and then we can just look go ahead and go through these properties here we are looking for the name so we can do spectated player dot name and there we go we have the first one in and then down here is then where we are going to want to do our um this is going to be our stat card stat container this is where here we're going to list out all of our stats that we want to display so if you remember there's four of them goals assists saves and shots so now to make sure that we make sure that this works with the flex uh, the flexing display we need to make sure that we wrap all of our stats in divs so here we can start with this first we'll do the first div which is going to then we're going to want to get our stat card stat name in here and then this is going to say we'll do all caps we'll do goals and then we'll do stat card value or stat value and then here we'll want to make sure we put our curly braces spectated player dot goals and then now we'll go ahead and we'll build the next one i'm going to copy and paste this because this is going to be very very similar to um to the one above but we're going to need to pass in some styling override in here just that way we make sure there's enough space because if you were to just render this like it is now it's going to be very cluttered and it won't work out the greatest for us so uh and not style just style so the inside here then we're just going to want to say margin left and we're going to want to set this to 40 pixels that way there's enough space in between that way everything is super readable so we can now just change this to assist We'll change instead of it rendering the goals, we do the assists. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste this one and two more times. Then we're gonna do saves, spectator player dot saves. And then lastly, we have shots, which can then be shots. So then we'll go ahead and save, let the auto formatter kick in. And this is what it should be to start. So now we are ready to test our, or, or, or plug this component in, excuse me, and test the overlay. All right, so I've gone ahead and launched a local game of Rocket League, and you can get, already see here our overlay in effect here. It's surrounded by the green, which is a good sign there. So now it just disappeared, which means that it's not spectating anyone. And now it just switched back over to Rex, who currently has zero goals, assists, saves, and shots. You can go ahead and run this locally and let this run in a private match with some bots or if you want to invite some friends to test it out you can do that too but you'll see here that this is able to accurately reflect the stats that we are receiving here from the game so as you can see here with mini it's also zero it's probably going to be zeros a lot if you're testing with bots just be patient with that but you can clearly tell that this is effectively changing and there you go you can see update one goals one shot and there we can assume that right now it's in the replay and if I were to go click into the game, and you can see there, Saber 2 did just score. So that about wraps up this video. We now have a fully working player stat card. We have the boost meter and we have the scoreboard, which are all the main components needed for a successful Rocket League in-game overlay. There's gonna be one more video in this series, just summing up some bonus features or in some bonus components that you can add in. And I'll be sure to upload that as soon as I can. Otherwise then, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying this series so far, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel as it really helps me out a lot for the future. Otherwise then, my name is Titanhawk17, wishing you all a fantastic rest of your day wherever you may be.